Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When you're online, you are connected to a global network of computers, the internet. And when you go to a website, you're allowing your computer to connect to a remote computer. And when you do this, you're transmitting information, possibly information about yourself that you wouldn't necessarily want to send. Now, for the most part, it's, it's relatively benign information like your screen resolution or what web browser you're using or the country that you're coming from. If you're concerned about your privacy online when connecting to websites, you may consider using something called a proxy, which is a web service that is, acts as an intermediary between your computer and, well, any other computer that you want to connect to. Some ISPs force you to go through proxies, and, and that's largely done for caching. And I don't mean cash as in cash money, rather uh, the storing of data uh, on, the, on the network that would make it seem like you were loading the website quicker because if someone has already loaded that website on the network, when you came to pull it up, it would come up quicker because it already knows what data is out there. Uh, someone keeps mentioning in the, the web chat room Squid, which happens to be a, a proxy that some websites install to help make page loading happen faster for their visitors. Uh, a user in the chat room was asking about proxies and why and when he would want to use them. Some people uh, use proxies, again, for the anonymity. Uh, and if you're looking for a good anonymous proxy to go through uh, to keep your data as private as possible, um, proxy.org is likely the best place for you to look. Great explanation of what proxies are and why they're relevant and why you may consider going through a proxy. Some people in, in a corporate environments are restricted. They can't view websites like YouTube or MySpace or, well, some kind, sometimes even like my blog, uh, people have said they can't get to it because their administrator has put a filter or a restriction on what sites they can go through. Sometimes users take matters into their own hands and use a proxy to connect to these sites, kind of bypassing these filters. But by doing that, as I think ThoughtFix had just mentioned in the chat room, uh, those network administrators could still monitor traffic. When you're online, just assume that you're online with the entire world. I mean, privacy is, can only go so far. I've always believed that when you put yourself online, you, you really, you're not waiving your rights to privacy, but you're really putting a big dent in your privacy um, by even getting online in the first place. There's software and services that can help mitigate those uh, potential disasters, but still, uh, when you're online, you're online. Uh, I don't know. What about you? Are you using a proxy? Uh, are you, are you having a good time with that proxy? Uh, is it something that you have to use? I mean, there are people in Thailand who can't even view, uh, well, YouTube, for instance, because of a, a recent political debacle. Um, and, and some of them have taken matters into their own hands and use a proxy. But again, you know, if someone finds out and they don't like it, you could get in trouble. And in some cases, it could be far worse than getting fired. Hopefully, that's not going to happen to you. So what are you guys using? Which proxies do you think are better? Do you think they're worth it, especially to the average user?